first time I saw her sitting on a hill, waving them titties at Buffalo Bill. Second time I saw her sitting on a log, making love like an old bullfrog. I'm just cleaning up a little bit the eyelashes. Sometimes they get a lot of like glue in it. And after a while, you're wearing like a pound of unnecessary uh, stuff. And they don't glue very well and they don't and they take a lot of room. <laughs> nothing I've been to in Miami, South Florida, that, that even really begins to compare. You just never know when Bambi's gonna tap you behind the shoulder and say, okay, you know, I need to be fed. We can do backdoor Bambi in Japan, we can do backdoor Bambi in LA, we can do backdoor Bambi in Vegas or New York City. Out of space is the only place that would allow it. <laughs> like crazy, you know, when it has sex and drugs and all that stuff. I think sex in the club is all good. Sex in the floor, sex in the hallway, sex in the staircase, sex, 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 sex. Thank God I'm a virgin, so I'm not about it. It's no holds barred fun. Disturbing, confusing. Is this is a gay club, is this a straight club. Backdoor Bambi is the longest running party on the beach. Bambi's been going for like, I think we're going on like nine years. I mean, it's so, it's, it's an institution. It's unheard of, a party nine years. On Miami Beach, clubs open and close in a matter of a month here. It's one of the only theme parties in South Beach City. There always used to be theme parties back in the early 90s, and this is the one that survived. If you say party, it's not, because there are parties everywhere, you know? And it's not, I don't think it's the, the logo either, it's not. It's beyond that. They open up the rear door of whatever club they're throwing the party at. So like in Crowbar, you don't walk in through the front entrance, you walk in through the back, hence the back door of Bambi. It was a real breath of fresh air to walk into a room where anything was acceptable. If I were to walk into a room and there's this fierce drag queen and she's like, you know, saying hello to me, there was no feeling of it's wrong to give this person a hug. It's so hard to work in the clubs here because everything's so segregated that like a gay club's a gay club and a straight club's a straight club. They're not just trying to throw a good party and for everybody to come and have fun and dance. They're actually trying to put together an idea, a vehicle, and what they've come up with is, is has become an institution. Ultimately the party was about the people that were coming to it. It's not really about my, Michael or myself. It's not about the staff even that we have. It's about really the people that come there week in and week out and that was who we wanted to cater to bring on board and make sure that at 5 a.m. when they were going home, they had a smile on their face and felt that they got more bang for their buck. Oh, that's right. Feels good too. Oh, that's right. party starts like at 10, 30, 11, but people don't get there till midnight. So you can imagine what kind of people are out Monday late. This could be anybody. This could be me walking down the street. This could be the guy with the pink mohawk that looks like he just got off the, the punk rock, you know, tour. Bambi attracts people from every walk of life. You know, gay, straight, bisexual, transsexual. I think I've even seen some Martians in there. I swear to God. I, they, could, they couldn't have been from this world. You know, you have some guys that are like, oh, isn't that a gay night? Or ladies that think that's a gay night. They don't understand it's an everybody night. I mean, don't you think it's exciting if you see a girl you think is hot and she might be gay? And you want to find out. 
You know what I mean? It's like it's everything's so obvious at most clubs, you know? It's not obvious at Bambi. We're not a gay party, and we're not a straight party. We're a party. So you'll have gay components, you'll have straight components. Bambi is how you would have a party at your house. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. If you invite people to your house, that's, and that's what they treat you. They treat you like you're welcome to my house. So don't shit on the floor, and don't pee in the corner, but have a good time. What really makes Backdoor Bambi different, aside from the Anything Goes atmosphere, uh, is the fact that they actually have performance artists. The shows, the shows. That was also an evolution. I, there weren't really any shows in the early years. It's an installation, an art installation. It's art in progress. We give them the freedom to be as creative as they choose to be, which is, I don't think, commonplace in any type of environment of hospitality or clubs or so on. One time he said, you know, Diana, if you show up and you sit on a box with a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken and you just eat it on the box the whole night, that's fine. Once they know what you can offer and what are you all about, and you get what are they all about and what they want from you, they say, you know, you're just, you're on your own. Just do whatever you have to do. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> Who is Adora? If anybody's having a barbecue, I have a salad bowl. This is the queen of drag queens. My favorite show, America's Most Wanted. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Adora, senadora. I get the energy from Adora. You just cannot match this person. This is a very important moment. Extremely important. I'm getting my drink. Adora is a staple of Miami Beach. Not only is she is living artwork. This is the most beautiful man in the world. We're divorced now. And no alimony. But look. She finds these tracks to do these shows to that like where do you find this stuff? I'm going out right now. creation from of Becky's. Yeah, uh, Becky, she's uh, one of our veterans. She's uh, our fetish end of things. <laughs> Kittens are frisky, and so she, you know, exaggerates that role, and she comes out with um, her, her performers, and they deck out in full patent leather, latex, cat suits, top to bottom. And what do kittens like? They like milk. <laughs> I'm about to get a little messy. <laughs> does a body good. <laughs> so these are the costumes that I'm going to wear for the performance tonight. I'm doing Jesus Christ Superstar, the Roman attire, my friend and I. You gorgeous? <laughs> oh man. Jose Ramirez. Jose Negro. Marcella. What is it that I don't do? One time we did this skit, which is like my favorite, like, 
we went on stage with these beautiful, beautiful headdresses, like really like dolled up. It's a different kind of performance, so we're taking theater in a more fabulous and aesthetically pleasing way. Uh, and we just fuck around with people. There was these spotlights on us, and we started going and doing like this kind of, kind of like a strip tease kind of thing. And all the men started like screaming, of course, because that's typical. We had like sweatpants and sweatsuits like underneath our chairs, and we put that shit on. And then we just started taking all this like soap, and we started like taking all the makeup off our face like in front of everybody. To just take the makeup off and, and show who we are with pimples, looking ugly, with imperfections, with, you know, regular people. I, I think that was, was very powerful. Our face was red, like, like, like disgusting, like pimples. You could see everything, every like little imperfection. We're just staring white light straight into the audience. At that point, all the women started screaming. And that's was like, wow. To me, that's, that's what I live for, like doing things that break the rules and yet make people like, wow, that was different. That was precious. The first night that I worked, people came up to me, asked me if I was Bambi, and I just, you know, you just have to roll with it. And I was like, of course I am. The character of Becky Bambi was a, uh, a character that I did in comic books in college. And her name was uh, Assassinata Susanna. She was a power, power dyke, power dyke, but hot. That portrait gave life to Bambi because she sparked out of a drawing and she lives. She got it, I was like, exactly what I was drawing. I was like, see, it's, it's over. Like, any guy, like, any straight guy's like, oh my God, my dick is not big enough for that. Because, like, she's so, like, you Honey. can't match me. I do, I, I guess what you could say is I play the character Bambi. Gorgeous. Shut up. Come here. Oh my God. How are you, baby? I love you too. Oh. Within Bambi and the party, she is the hostess of hostesses. She resembles Bambi, whether it's by accident or purpose, but she resembles that, that aura of her. At times, I only wish that she could see in her what you know, I see in her. I can say that about you know, a lot of the staff. In fact, all of the staff. You know, they're so amazing. They're so beautiful in their own right. And I think that they don't give themselves enough credit, real credit. When people grow together, and share with each other and are strong for each other, then, you know, you start to build a family. It's never a strict business relationship. It's always this incestuous family kind of thing where you kind of feel you have to, but at the same time you love it because they're your family. How can you say no to your family? We have a lot of people we work with that we've been working with for since we started. So this just naturally, a family happens. My parents were married for 29 years and it came as a really big shock when they decided to get a divorce. And the day that I went with my mother to the courthouse to register her divorce, I called Carmel. It's tough, uh, you know, I'm not gonna deny that. And I wish it wouldn't have to be that way. But when it is that way, you gotta step up to the plate. You gotta be a friend. When you start going into parties, a lot of people really, especially when they come in from out of town, they, they get to a place like South Beach, they dive into nightlife trying to find themselves. But what happens a lot of times is they dive into nightlife and they end up losing themselves. Instead of them controlling the nightlife, the nightlife controls them. And that's when you get into, you know, you know, aspects of it where there are downfalls. Carmel uh, was interested in having me DJ and having my friend Lara be the, be the promoter. When he started working with us, we started to see the signs. And we started to see the signs in a very, very, you know, in our face way. And, um, you know, bottom line was, you know, it was very evident that he was, um, he was on the junk. You know, he was, he was doing smack. He was, he was gonna die. Like, he was gonna die. If you see pictures of Greg, even like, what, two months ago, he looked like, he looked like death. Like, he was gonna die. He started to go through a downward spiral real, real quick. I'm witnessing before my very eyes, somebody deteriorating, teeth falling out, you know, emaciated, so pale, he was fucking blue. 
people were like, oh, is, is he going to die? Is he going to show up tonight? Is he going to be high? Is he going to be able to DJ? And I said, look, I know what's going on, you know. And uh, either you go to rehab, you go to get help, or you, you just simply can't work with us anymore. So I, I just said, you know what? Solution. Fuck the problem. Here's what's happening. I will make a commitment to you right here, right now. I will vouch for you across the board. I will put your stuff in storage while you're away. I will make sure that you have your job back when you get out. I will make sure that you, I will help you get an apartment. Those are the five things that you're concerned with. There are no, nothing you need to be concerned with anymore. Carmel has been amazing. He's been an angel in disguise. You know, amazing. I, I never thought, like, amazing. You know, it's very rare that people are there for you in times of trouble, you know? It's, it's very, it's very more, much more family-like, brother, sister, whatever relationship than it is boss, you know, employee. Recently, Michael, you know, had met somebody very special, you know, and, and within a year got married and had a baby. Carmel and Michael are um, an excellent team. They're friends. They've been there. You know, Michael just had a baby. Like, they've been there for each other. At the time, I was being, I was blind, really. I was just, I guess, self-absorbed in what will be the future. What is going to happen now? You know, I wasn't, I wasn't easy and I wasn't really nice. I had to go away for a little while to really reflect and put things in perspective. And I recognized that really it's, it's me. And really it's a selfish thing and a self-absorbed thing for me to have to put a party or a brand or, or a company ahead of, you know, an amazing thing called love and a baby. And that being said... Um, you know, hell, man, I'm sorry for, for you know, those couple months, man. It, it wasn't easy, and I know I wasn't easy. So, you know. Hey, we got through it. We got through it. I think that's a message people should get on life, too. You know, get your shit together, fine, but forget about the rest of the people, what, who's doing what and who's doing who, and have a good time. I think what Bambi's trying to say is... Just, you know, go out and have fun and know that there's a place where you can be whoever you want to be. You could be yourself, you could be somebody else, you could be, you know, Madonna if you want. If you want to dress up and be Madonna one week, if you want to be, you know, you know, whoever you want to be, whatever person you want to you want to take, whatever personality you want to take on, whatever you want to do, there's a place called Backdoor Bamboo where you could come and be that person and no one's gonna tell you anything or ask you what are you doing it could never end because once you've experienced that night it'll always stay with you you don't need to be much for the next like 30 years. I'm gonna be like 55 years old, 65 years old coming to Bambi and hanging out with my drag queens. <laughs> <laughs>